Hey there and welcome. We are talking hospital bags today. So if you are working on packing your hospital bag, trying to figure out what you actually need, this is my third time around and I think I have it down. Some things may be a little bit extra, but I'll let you make that decision. If you are interested in seeing what you really need in your hospital bag, keep on watching. a mama of two soon to be three this is my channel gaggle of smells where we talk about all things pregnancy birth and motherhood today we're talking about hospital bags this is my third time around so let's see what we put in this thing so please follow along with us give this video a like and subscribe to our channel catch up on all of our other videos which I will link here and in the description box all right let's get into it so let's talk about things for the baby first because I feel like this is probably the most minimal because the hospital will have so much of what you need already. You could not bring a thing for the baby and you'd totally be covered while you're there. So having said that, you're gonna see that I'm bringing quite a few photo opportunity outfits which are 100% not needed. Some might use the word extra. I just like a cute photo, okay? I will link everything in the description box or a pinned comment for you guys. And if for some reason you do not see something or you can't find something, please let me know and I'm happy to send you the link. But I'm bringing three knotted gowns. These are my favorite for newborn, mostly because it's very easy for diaper changes. And especially in the hospital, it's so, so easy. For when the nurses and doctors come in to check the baby for certain things, it's so much easier when it's a knotted gown because they can just untie it, pull it up, do what they need to do. and they don't need to worry about uh, putting an outfit back on or re-swaddling or all, all that kind of stuff. These are all the same style. This is from Kate Quinn Organics. These little knotted gowns, they're so soft. These are actually the Beechwood Modell, my favorite fabric from Kate Quinn. Um, if you're a Kate Quinn mama, I feel like it's almost like a cult following, but this is my 100% favorite fabric from them. So I have three of them. One potential going home outfit, because it's gonna be cold, most likely. I got this little hat from Target. It's very fuzzy on the inside. I feel like it will be good for the car ride home, even though it's a very short drive, just in case the chill comes through. We don't want baby getting cold. This little outfit is actually a hand-me-down from my first daughter Winnie baby gap but I just love it so much for the actual going home outfit I've done this wrong so at the hospital they keep ankle bracelet on the baby until you leave and they don't cut that off until you're literally rolling down the hallway to go to your car so if you have baby in a zip up footy you have to like leave their leg out so they can cut this bracelet off and then try to stuff baby's foot back in while you're like rolling down the hallway it's just crazy so this does not have feet and then just a little sweater which also has a hood in case she hates this which is very possible so since we go the footless route I'm also bringing two pairs of booties these came highly rated on Amazon but these are just velcro baby booty and also an alternative pair that are fun. also bringing a car seat cover this just stretches over the car seat to be an extra barrier because I'm sure once we go out the hospital doors it's gonna be cold before we get in the car just to keep the chill off of her another photo opt outfit I got this little knit pom-pom hat from Amazon and then another Kate Quinn organics this is actually a zip footy so the whole shebang you'll notice a running theme here with the Kate Quinn I'm also bringing three bonnet. These are also from Kate Quinn to go with various outfits. Okay, this is one of my favorite little outfits. Another knotted gown. This is also from Kate Quinn with a bonnet to match that also has a swaddle and a robe for me. So this will be our official matchy matchy outfit, which I'm super excited about. Very comfy and this is made out of their organic cotton. Also for baby photo ops, this pink blanket was actually my mom's when she was a baby. It's literally like 60 years old. I really want to get a picture of her wrapped in this. One of these bonnets, I'm trying to decide which goes the best. I think I like the red and that'll be super special. 
Also for a baby, I have an embroidered hoop with her name on it. I'm not gonna show you guys because I actually haven't told anyone the middle name yet, besides my husband and my mom actually. It'll be a little bit of a surprise. That is gonna be for a photo op as well. So that'll be her name reveal. And wrapping up the baby stuff, I am bringing one Wubbinub and a pack of Bibs Pacifier. Also for baby, I'm bringing a travel sound machine. I love this one. It doesn't get super duper loud, but I think for the hospital, it will be fine. And I think it's better than like using your phone for white noise, which baby definitely needs. There's used to so much noise in your belly. They need that white noise, especially in the hospital when there's constant people coming in, lights on, lights off, all that good stuff. This will come in very handy. This is the last thing for baby, I believe. I'm bringing our own baby wash. This is the set fill which I found to be like least irritating on baby skin because they do the first bath in the hospital um, and I want to bring that because I know that this hospital uses Johnson and Johnson and it has irritated both of my baby skin while we've been there especially Axel my second he was literally like bright red after they gave him a bath so I want to make sure they use a really gentle cleanser so I am bringing our own and then as far as any lotion for baby I'll ask that they not put the Johnson and Johnson one on there and we will use coconut oil because I'll be bringing that for delivery anyway okay so that is for baby so you'll notice I did not bring any diapers white really anything else for baby other than these extras and these outfits okay wait this is the last thing for baby I am bringing two of our own swaddles again this is not needed because they have those hospital swaddles that are awesome but just to have our own you can always wrap the bassinet pad with it too to make a, a cuter picture so bringing those and the bonnets will go with those as well so on to mom and dad. I have packed a bag for my husband. He's probably going to throw in a couple outfits before we actually go to the hospital. He has a rolling like carry-on size suitcase that he's going to bring and that's going to have all the things that I need for labor and delivery, snacks, drink that we're going to need right when we get there, and anything he's going to need while he's there too. Included in his bag I have my birth plan which we've put in a plastic sleeve so it doesn't get messed up. We have this salt lamp which I got on Amazon. It's it's remote control so we don't have to worry about having a cord to handle it. I think it'll be helpful if I am in labor at the hospital for a while. I think it'll be helpful just with the ambiance in the room to keep it chill and also for after baby's born it's going to be good for the postpartum room. Keeping the lights dim but just having this on easier light especially in the middle of the night because baby will be up. We won't have to turn those overhead lights on. We'll just have this. And then coconut waters. My midwife did let me know I won't have to be hooked up to an IV. I'll just have a hep block if I'm able to stay hydrated on my own. So she recommended coconut water. So we're bringing me to keep our hydration up. As far as snacks, we're bringing beef jerky, trail mix, some cliff bars, and some energy drinks for the hubby. I did not bring any snacks previously with my other two. I'm just worried with the COVID that some things are gonna be closed down in the hospital. Okay, also in his bag, I have my labor gown, which I got from Baby Be Mine. And I know my hospital is cool with these because I wore it last time so I went with the pink and purple print this time for baby girl you can use it as a nursing gown afterwards if it doesn't get too messed up I think my last one I threw away immediately because it was so icky but it was nice to have for those first moments and first pictures something nice on instead of the hospital gown again 100% maybe extra, but it makes me feel good and I feel like it made a difference with how I was feeling. And the matching pillowcase, which also, this is in the go time list, but I will bring my own pillow, towel, and blanket to the hospital, which is again, not 100% necessary. You can by all means use the hospital linen, but I know the hospital I deliver at, their towels are not the best and it's always nice to have your own pillow. Okay, so as far as things for me, I am bringing a robe. I feel like this is is so perfect to wear after you give birth the days following I will usually just put on high-waisted leggings a nursing tank top and then a robe on over it if like somebody's visiting which nobody's gonna be visiting because it's COVID regulations but it was nice to have the robe just to feel a little more put together so bringing that this is from pink blush also bringing a nursing bra this is from target this is a new one i do have a pack of three nursing bras from amazon that i used last time they are a little bit worn out so i wanted to get something that had a little bit more structure to it in case that's what i want okay also bringing an extra long charging cord hospital rooms are notorious for having the plugs in crazy locations a normal charger is not going to be long enough for so this one is six feet so i think we'll be covered and then a plug. Rita baby mom washer. 
Is that what this is called? Yeah, the Free Baby Mom Washer. This is not necessary, but it is. Because the one they give you at the hospital is totally fine. They'll give you a peri bottle and set you up with all your postpartum stuff. At least I know my hospital, they give you a can of Dermaplast, pad, postpartum, like boy shorts, the mesh undies. They did not have the ice packs that I've heard some people talk about. I don't know if it's just that I didn't ask for it or they just don't have it. But like I said, they will have a peri bottle for you, but this one is far superior. I'm bringing my Young Living Rose Ointment. This is gonna be my lip balm, chapstick, any dry skin issues here, which easily happens at the hospital because I feel like the air there is so dry. Travel toothbrush for the husband. Now onto my toiletry bag. I am bringing face wipes, a pair of glasses because I am blind, a travel size dry shampoo, a Q-tip, travel toothbrush, travel toothpaste, my own shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion. Now, all of those toiletry items very well may have at the hospital for you. And I know not everyone wants to take a shower there at the hospital because it may seem kind of icky, but I know me personally, that is amazing to take a nice hot shower after baby's born and I want to have my own products for that. Just another thing to make you feel a little more normal, not like a sick patient in a hospital. I found those to be very important the second time around. The first time around, I did not have those things and I felt infinitely better that I had those little comforts of home when I was in the hospital. Also bringing some nipple butter. This is the Earth Mama one, so this can actually double as lip balm too. This is one of my favorites. What else do I have in here? I'm also bringing this organizer. This is like a toiletry bag organizer. I've had it forever, but it's so nice to be able to put everything in here and have it all in one place. Also bringing contacts, hair ties. This came in clutch last time. This is the After Ease from Wish Garden. I had really bad cramping with my second. Like every time I nursed him, almost like comparable to labor contractions, kind of cramped. It was crazy. These are supposed to help with that and I did find that they do. It tastes absolutely horrible, but I think it's worth it for a little bit of relief from those cream. I've heard that it gets worse with each delivery, so if these are worse than with my second, I'm going to need that whole bottle. And then also on the list, which is on the go time list, when it's actually time to go to the hospital, I have my makeup bag of my normal makeup that I would use every day, and my hairbrush and hair wand. Hair wand is probably not necessary, but I would definitely bring a hairbrush because even if you don't take a shower my hair got so matted with my first from laying in the hospital bed I did have a c-section with her so I was there a bit longer my hairbrush was very important now I keep mentioning the go time list I actually have a running list on my phone it's a note that I share with Brett my husband of what we're gonna need before we run out the door and on that list are phone chargers both of our cameras camera batteries and chargers my makeup bag which I already mentioned my two pairs of black leggings which they're in the laundry rotation since I'm pretty much living in those lately. <laughs> so hopefully they are on the clean side. When it's time to go, I've just been trying to like wash them after every single wear just in case, as well as my Target nursing tank. There's three that I have, a black, a gray, and a purple. They are from the Isabel maternity line at Target, and they're technically a maternity tank top. There's like no shelf, no padding or anything. It's literally just a tank that you can pull down to nurse. So I'm bringing three of those. I lived in those postpartum last time. And also I have my going home outfit, which is just a pair of comfy joggers, one of those tank tops I just talked about, and this pink comfy cardigan from Target. It's just in the laundry right now since I just got it for Christmas. And last thing on the go time list is a trash bag and a towel for the car just in case my water breaks in the car. I also already know that we have a puke bag. I don't know if that's the technical term. In the car, I definitely wanna bring one of those because I did get sick literally right as we pulled into the parking lot last time, so that will come in handy too. I hear my little guy waking up, so that about wraps up what you actually need in your hospital bag. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Happy to help you guys pack your hospital bag. Like I said, all the links will be in the description box or a pinned comment. I hope this was helpful, and I hope it made you feel like you don't need a whole suitcase of luggage to bring to the hospital with you. They really do take care of you, especially stuff for baby. There's more than enough. You can always take it with you, and if you ask for more, I've had the nicest nurse and they pack your bag for you on your way out with anything you need. Please give it a like if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel. We're on Baby Watch now. I'm almost 39 weeks. So the next video you'll see getting the postpartum basket and nursing station ready for baby. Thanks for watching. Bye.